Hey, so think of which pile is drawing you in. So we have the first, we have the second, we have the third, we have the fourth, and we have the fifth. All right, and so I shuffled two decks. I pulled some anchor cards for 2018. What, what are some things you might have been going through? And then I pulled two cards to match what you can anticipate for 2019. I saw a lot of patterns in this reading, so I feel very confident in the energy that this will speak to someone today. All right, and so as you're thinking of which card is drawing you in, just use your intuition. Um, just focus on which set is drawing you in, or you can simply just watch the whole video and see what actually resonates with you. All right, so I'm going to move them away so that way I can focus on the one the first one okay all right so if you pick the first set here the card that we have is the ace of cups okay and so what you'll see is that the ace of cups for you is actually in reverse so this 2018 for you you might have had a lot of high hopes we're thinking of cups we're thinking of emotions and feelings and so for some of you it might have been like you were really hoping to find like a love interest you're hoping to revamp your love life or a situation romantic situation that you were in now for some of you it's merely just dealing with your passion okay so cups deal with anything to do with our passion our feelings what really makes us come alive so for some of you it could have been that you really lacked passion this 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 year you lacked maybe like there is something that you really wanted to do or focus on or maybe you just weren't living your life's purpose but for some of you there has been a lack of you don't really feel a connection, right? And for some of you, it is based on like your need for companionship. And for some of you, it's just that you really didn't feel that you had, um, you put a lot of effort in, you feel a little bit maybe emotionally void of feeling successful in some way. Now I'm gonna, I have another card to give a little bit more insight of the situation. High Priestess. Okay, so the High Priestess is in reverse, Okay, so on your end, she should be coming up reversed, okay? And so what that means, High Priestess, she knows, she's very intuitive, she is able to sense things without knowing the actual facts. But when it's reversed, that means that someone that is not trusting their intuition, someone who is not letting their inner self guide them. And so since you had, there was something that you really didn't go for this year or something that you really didn't see come alive, you know, there is some... There is some like doubt that you have going on with yourself. You're not really trusting yourself inwardly. There might have been situations that you didn't really trust what your gut instinct was. You didn't trust yourself. And that maybe led to you feeling like this lack of passion, this lack of love in your life. And, you know, again, like I said, for some of you, it's a literal love relationship companionship. That was maybe a goal for 2018 or you thought someone was going to be, you know, more of a partner for you and they weren't. Or simply some of you, it's a lack of passion. You're not really going for what you're passionate about in life. Now, I have two cards to give some insight, some general insight to 2019. Listen, I just said at the beginning of the video, I shuffled both decks. Um, I did tell you though that I there's a lot of energy in this reading. There's a lot of patterns coming up. And so interestingly enough, the Ace of Cups comes up again. Like this is me not just picking a random card. This is me shuffling both decks and just reading the energy. And so the Ace of Cups comes up again. But luckily for you, it is not in reverse. So this means though what you are looking for in 2018 has a high chance of high chance of happening in 2019. You know, now we have the cup overflowing. Now we have this feeling and this burst of new energy, this newness. We think of aces, there's something new. There's something coming alive. It's, it gives chances for opportunity. And so something involving your feelings is really going to be ignited in 2019. Okay, again, this is a general reading, so I will let you connect the dots of how it's resonating with you, but this is for people that have some type of need um, internally, passion, feelings, emotions, whether it's with a person um, or a situation or their own personal life, just feeling a zest for life, feeling that you're doing what you actually are meant to do or passionate about. Another card to follow up, though, is the Six of Wands. Okay, so the Six of Wands, victory. Wands are showing that there is some action, there's some moves that need to be made though first in order for this love, this passion to come about in your life, for you to feel more alive, for you to feel more, you know, um, emotionally charged, so to speak. And so what you have to remember though about the Six of Wands is that 
before you can have victory, you do have to go through a battle. And so for some of you to see a brighter 2019, um, the beginning of the month, I mean, the beginning of the year might be stagnant. You still might be dealing with some of those disappointments from early, um, from 2018. But if you are willing to undertake all the work, remember wands are work. Wands are what you're doing. Wands are those things. It's external energy. And so for some of you to get that passion in your life, you have to kind of put yourself out there. Whatever that means for you, whatever your situation is, it's an external. That means the actions that you make can't just be mental changes in your mind. These have to be actual actions that you do in the outside world. All right. Not too bad. Okay. So this was the second set. Three of coins. Okay. So the three of coins in reverse. So coins are pentacles. We're dealing with your work ethic, your work, your skill. For some of you, this is dealing with 2018 had a lot to do with your work, your job. Had to do with, you know, or some project, something that you're working on in order to see a reward, in order to see financial gain, or to gain stability. Now, it did. It might not have panned out in the way that you want it. We have threes, which deal with the beginning stages of something. But you, you know, there was a lot of effort. You're doing a lot. You're still doing a lot, actually, in order to get to that point where you want to get to. However, in reverse, it does mean there was a little bit of frustration. You At this point, you thought you would have been a little farther along than you are. The next card about showing um, some information about your 2018. Threes. Okay, this has to do with other people. Definitely the situation. Like, whatever your frustrations or wins are in the situation has to do with other people and your association with others. All right, because we have the Three of Cups. Now, the Three of Cups is typically a positive card regarding, you know, uh, companionship and, and friends and, and family and, and warmth and joy and celebration parties, things like that. But it's in reverse. And so what this means is I think for some of you, you might have been overworking yourself. Work might You might have dove all into your work and it was like all work, no play. Basically, that's your tagline for 2018. And so for those of you who chose this set, all this work that you've been putting into and you're frustrated because you don't feel as far as you wanted to get to but it also impacted your relationships with others okay whatever this is it impacted just like your ability to connect with others or to be there for others whatever that situation is okay now i'm gonna pull pick two cards pull these um they're already pre-shuffled but this is your 2019 what are some guidance for you okay there we go all right we have emperor okay so a lot of work has been put into whatever you're doing um whatever it is whether it's work related or your house or your status or your education whatever it is for you guys this has to do with it has to do with um outcomes whatever it is it has to do with outcomes it's not a really feel, touchy feely type of situation this is your work ethic which you've been doing to actually get some type of outcome some type of reward and so we have the emperor card so for 2019 for some of you it's definitely going to be you're going to get the reward that you've been looking for and in fact it's going to be more than you bargained for because the emperor is achievement in pure form you know this is a person you know the emperor represents a person who is well regarded so for some of you it could be you were working so hard you're going to get an unexpected opportunity that propels you farther for some of you there's going to be something new in front of you so you spent all this time doing all this work and you're kind of feeling frustrated because you're still stuck at this this level where you don't feel you're as far as you wanted to get to. But achievement, I mean, this could mean for some of you a promotion. It could mean for some of you actually getting whatever it is you've been working for, right? And so this, some of you just means like your reputation is now better. So for 2019, you're going to see more um, results than you did in 2018. Yo, I'm telling you. So this is why I was so excited for this reading because so many cards, I use two decks for a reason to see if similar cards would come up, similar suits, things like that. Your energy really here is strong. Look, the three of cups comes up upright for you. So do you see how all this energy for this reading is actually right here? Your, the three of cups came up again. Remember, these are two different decks that are shuffled, all of that. Okay, they didn't random. I didn't put, pick them on purpose. I shuffled through them, you know, did my thing, and these are the cards in the set. And so we have the three of cups. All of this work that you've done, you're now going to be able to enjoy your life a little bit more. You're going to be able to enjoy the people in your life a little bit more because now I think your confidence is also going to be boosted up from this unexpected thing in 2019. Your confidence is going to be um, higher, which means you're going to want to be around people more. You're going to have more fun to share. You're going to feel a little bit better about yourself. Okay, now. Third, the Empress. Okay, creativity. For some of you, this year was really about you 
kind of shedding the rules and just giving life to what it is you really feel the most you know, uh, inspired by, you know, you're some type of creative endeavor. Maybe you've kind of shed some traditional ideas, traditional thing, ways of doing something in, in exchange for a more creative way. Okay. You know, you've given life to something, something new is in the air. For some of you, there is something new that you've created. There's something new in your life in 2018 that came about that has made you feel very inspired, made you feel very, you know, enlightened maybe in a way and so for some of you creativity and doing things in a new way experiencing something new for the first time breathing life into something or someone some type of really renewed refreshed situation and you're the, you're it's you though you're the empress you've created that it's you it's you driven and so a lot of you might be feeling really proud of some accomplishment or something that you've done in 2018 now another card to go along with that is your ten of cups Okay, and again, this is vibing off the same energy because Ten of Cups is a very positive card. It's a very successful card. This card's keyword is success. And typically in some other decks, you'll see the Ten of Cups with a lot of people around. So it kind of also symbolizes family or those close to you who are going to enjoy some success. And so what you did actually, you know, for some of you, it could have been a new family that you created. Or for some of you, it could have been not necessarily a new family or anything like that. But it could have meant like whatever you did brought other people along for the ride. Whatever you did made a, a, everyone else happy. Whatever you did, like you were the pinnacle, like you were the, the source of some type of energy. You were the source of a new something new. Um, maybe you're you're leading something, maybe you're inspiring other people, you have created something, whatever that situation is, there's other people around enjoying from that and really appreciating you for it. Now, what's going on with 2019? So we have the Seven of Cups. So we have Cups again, emotions. Again, this is a very emotionally charged set, this set three. And so we have the Seven of Cups. Now, what you do want to make sure that you're not doing is like don't ride so much off of your success that you're not keeping your mind open to understanding what's actually before you. When we see the Seven of Cups, a lot of times we start thinking of delusions and illusions and not really seeing things for what they really are. Um, you know, Sometimes people get so excited for the win that they forget that strategy is still very important. And so when I see this card for 2019, there might be something that happens, but it's unanticipated because you really aren't thinking about the facts. You know, there's a lot of feelings going on here. There's a lot of positive energy, which is great. But at the same time, something might happen in 2019 that you weren't anticipating with this situation. But that's because like, you know, there's a little bit of happiness and illusion in there, right? And so it's like not really one to see beyond the surface, really not one to see the fact that yes, something positive has happened, but there's still some work to be done or there's still something needed to solidify the situation. I'm gonna pull another card just to get some more insight on what that might mean. Okay, here we go. And this is why I say like, I like doing readings because I love seeing the patterns in something. And like, that's how you know if a reading is really um, accurate. And again, this is a general reading, but these messages are for someone because I'm getting really strong pairings of cards here. So we have more cups. This is a very emotionally charged situation, which is why I said like some of you, maybe you started a new business. You started something, something new started this year for those of you in this stack. And if you're like, wait, this doesn't resonate with me. Okay. You might want to go to the other sets and choose a different one because this is for people like something new happened this year, but then there, you know, and it happened and helped other people in some way. But then we have some things to consider, though, in 2019. You know, we have the Four of Cups, reevaluating what you feel. And so for some of you, again, with that Seven of Cups, that illusion, that thing that is not, um, the situation that is not clear. When you see the Seven of Cups, something's not clear. Something is not what it seems. People are not paying attention to reality. Okay, so 2019, there might be a little bit of a shift where you have to kind of use your mind a little bit more and not just your, your emotions or not just your, you know, your feelings. And so the Four of Cups, though, is showing me that like Four of Cups reevaluating. You might reevaluate a decision that you made. You might have to rethink some things and how you're approaching some things because your feelings for the situation could change a little bit in 2019. And just be aware of that. All right, next set, we have the Strength card. Okay. So, sorry, because some of these, you know, I I do them and then they're in reverse. And then on my end, there's, you know, like on your end, they're supposed to look different than on my end because I know if they're reversed or not. So I just want to make sure I'm giving you the accurate information. So if I pause, that's because, like, I already pulled the cards for the camera. I'm trying to show this. So on your end, this should show it is in reversed. 
okay and it is in reverse because this 2018 for you there might have been a situation that you felt you couldn't control and you let it overcome you you didn't really look for ways to target the situation and really work through it something might have been too much for you to bear you kind of gave in you gave in to a situation or you let a situation happen without really using your own guidance without letting yourself take control over a situation now a follow-up card for that is the sun and again this pattern is really coming up for you in this reading because the sun is what's revealed and so because you didn't do all that you could have done or because you let a situation kind of get out of control there's something that you're you know that there's more that you could have done you know that that light is not being shed on a situation you know that there might be things that could be better could be more positive but for some reason that's not happening for you because you didn't really control the situation like you should have right and so we have the sun card there are things that now when the sun is in reverse it takes on the meaning of the moon upright the moon is about hidden intuition and things like that but when we see the sun typically that shines something is not shining because of this lack of control that you felt in 2018 all right and again i I'm really good at specific readings for people, but I do general readings because they are often resonate with people as well. So I just want to say, though, I, when I do a general reading, I give the information, I read the energy, but at the same time, I let people connect the dots based on what unique situation is going on with them. This is going to resonate with a couple of people, a lot, you know, maybe even more than that, right? But I'm going to let people figure out what that specifically is talking about. Okay, like, so what we have here, though, is for your 2019, Courage. That's why I said I love this reading because the cards I pulled today all show very clear advice of what people should be doing. And so the Seven of Wands is courage. You need to have some direction. You need to not be afraid anymore. It is going to be difficult to sometimes do something for the first time to actually take that leap and say, I'm going to somewhere where I'm not familiar, but the Wands card shows that you have to take action. This is not a mental block. This is not something where you can just kind of wait it out. You actually have to do some action. Um, you actually have to do something in order to encounter your fears. All right, and the last one we have here is justice. Okay, so... If you do that, things will be made right. Um, for some of you, this could have been a situation where like somebody wronged you or you let somebody get away with something that they really shouldn't have. You maybe let other people control you or you let other people control a situation or you didn't really take charge like you should have in, in a particular situation. But we have this justice card here. Something in this situation will be made right. But again, we all have free will. So you also have to take that, that courage. You have to have that in you in order for this things to be made right and seem balanced and fair. Okay, our last one we have Two of Swords 2018. You might you, you made an effort. This is a mental card. So, for some of you, there was a change in maybe your mindset. For some of you, you might have felt a little bit more at ease. You might have gotten rid of something out of your life that wasn't really causing you to be as productive as you could have. When we see the Two of Swords, we're thinking of mental balance, we're looking at ways that we can achieve you know, this equilibrium that sometimes we don't have in our lives because we're constantly doing this and that and working and helping this person or doing whatever, right? And so for some of you, there was a change in your mindset. You felt maybe more at ease in 2018. And I think for some of you, something is coming up in 2019 that makes you a little bit more anxious that this won't be the same. So some of you are anxious that that calm that you've been feeling, you're kind of paranoid. Like, well, when is it going to end? You know, I feel better right now, but when is that going to, you know, fall apart? And so another card to give you some guidance the situation we have is a seven of coins and so with some of you though it's still this frustration point i think some of you are torn there are people that probably scaled back on something for instance um this definitely could be a situation where some people maybe you know they had two jobs they only went down to one job just to have more state of mind you see the example i'm giving but then they're frustrated because you want more you need more so you, you, you did this to help yourself mentally, to have balance, to have harmony. But then at the same time, there's a part of your life, though, where you just feel like if you did more, if you had more time, you would have more of the resources that you want. You're feeling a little frustrated. So for some of you in 2018, I thought like there was a conflict. Like part of you was happy about what you removed from your life, what you got rid of out of your life. But now there's some type of financial or, you know, stability issue coming up because you got rid of something because you have kind of less made something less of a priority. Now, 
let's get some insight for 2019. Okay. 2019. So this is, okay. So this card is the strength card, or this came up in another reading, but it came up in reverse. It was a 2019. That was for 2018. This is for 2019 for you. So like the strength card, you're going to be able to control. Yes, there, there's still something you're going to have to do in 2019 to make your life feel whole. You know, we are constantly making decisions that impact ourselves and constantly reevaluating things. So for 2019, there will be a need for you to take control of the situation. There will be a need for you to tackle what it is that you're kind of afraid of. So again, like I said before, something might resurface from the past in 2018, meaning there's something that you cut loose in 2018 to make yourself feel better, to make yourself have more mental, you know, clarity. But there's still some frustration around this situation. So for 2019, you kind of have to face it. If you can control the situation, you probably will see that you will have what you need in, in totality. Right now, you know, you've made some moves, but now it's time to actually buckle down, revisit what is bothering you, revisit what is holding you back from true happiness, and take more control of the situation. Even if it's a difficult situation, you can control it. You have to just look through ways in which you can you have the advantage. Where, In what ways do you have an advantage in these situations? All right. The last card for this is the Page of Wands. Okay. So the Page of Wands, this is kind of, this is giving you some insight now. When we see the Page of Wands, this character, this prototype in this card is a person who is kind of impulsive. They don't follow the rules per se. They kind of go with whatever hits their spirit. They go with whatever inspires them. Okay. They have like a youthful approach to things where they don't think of the risks. But at the same time, sometimes you have to just take a move. You have, I mean, make a move. You have to just do what you need to do. And so for this page of wands for 2019, some of you might take risks a little bit more. If you combine that with that strength card of controlling a situation and then also at the same time being a little, I wouldn't say impulsive, I would say being open-minded. I think you have to be open-minded. I think for you guys that chose this stack, 2018, 2019, there's still a lot of changes going on in your life. I think this is definitely the, the one that shows the most change happening of the sets that I did today. But what you have to do and keep in mind is like you have to understand that because of all those changes, there might be for a while, there's not going to be a lot of stability or you might see your life is trying to take you in different ways. You know, it's like you're trying to go down a road straight, but it's taking you here and to the left and to here. So but being open to that, because this also shows a potential for control. And this shows that you do have to make yourself open to new ideas in order to overcome some of those frustrations that have started to peak up a little bit more. Um, and have a brighter, a bright 2019. Okay. Thank you for watching this video. Please hit the like button. If any of this resonated with you, thanks.